day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Middle. You know what I mean? You sound asleep. What's the first reaction you're going to do when people, when a door was locked? They even had a key. Brother Adam. They, mm -hmm. I guess they went to the landlord or somebody. Had a key. Put the key in the door. They showed them open the door. And then they come, you know how you foul into the, into the yeah. And then you see the guy getting up. He had a blanket over his head. He was sound asleep. And he, he, he's like responding. And you're saying this, well, I only had a few seconds to that. You killed a, you just killed a man who, you just killed an innocent man. And they, you know, and you almost just said, what, how are you going to talk, how are you going to present that to the jury? What the jury going to, what the jury going to present it in a way to, well, first of all, I guarantee you, they are going to investigate this, li this man's life and find out everything that does not line up to what they say a man should be living a life like. They're going to look for everything that seems to be shady, that seems to be unethical and everything, and they're going to present a picture of this man before this incident. But they're going to hope they're not going to show a uh -huh. picture of this man in the current time that this incident happened. Right. You'll never see the person or the people who came into this man's house say, we came in and he was asleep. <laughs> and we knew that if we got the drop on him that he would not be awake. That was our purpose was for right. going in there, was to make sure to have the element of surprise. Right. Yeah. And yeah. if we have the element of surprise, then we could subdue him. Yeah. No, but you, you, know, you won't hear him say that. Yeah. Hey. They'll never say that. Right. Hey, they'll never. What they'll do is they say, this man, you know, he uh, he robbed this. He got a record for, for doing this. He was divorced. You know, he got illegitimate kids. He's got parking tickets. Well, they find, you know? And look, look, I want to throw it back at you. Already got some information showing that he's not. I just want you to know that right now. That's that's why yeah. it's, it's making news. He 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 he's a, he's a, he's a law abiding citizen. We're, they're still going to find something. They got to go. They're going to find something. That's just like the dude up there in in Atlanta. Yeah, Aubrey. They they're gonna they're they're gonna find something. He was just jogging the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> but yet they're gonna find something to make him look bad. Yeah. Oh, don't forget his long, dirty toenails too, right? You know, he yeah. was talking and yeah. his long, <laughs> dirty toenails. So. Yeah, because we, we, we examine everyone's toenails <laughs> to see if they're clean, so whether they're worthy to be running through our neighborhood. <laughs> oh, he must have a juvenile uh, record or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. He was up to something. Something. There was something that was wrong with him because he's of color. You know, I was just flicking through the channels and there was a special report on traffic stops and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw this one portion of it just in passing. My wife was, was, was looking at it. And it said we stopped him because he resembled someone that was uh, suspicious because of his wide nose. No, they did. I, I said one even worse than that. They arrested somebody for six days for somebody that was white that they was looking for, but he was black. He's black, but yeah. the person they're looking for was white. And yet he was held as, a, what do you call it, mistaken identity. Yeah. It was well, a look, uh, look at the, uh, the people who were just uh set free from from the killing of 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 Malcolm X. Yeah. They knew who the killer was. Yeah. And yet they took 
what, 50 years of these people's lives knowing such? Hmm. That's, that's our government. That's that's our our government. That's our law and justice system. Knowing that they were not a part of this. Matter of fact, had no proof that they were even there. These dudes was at home. Both of them. That's sad. That's sad. And yet, yet they they the justices from the police to go find these people to the, the courts, you know, and the judge. And then after they had somebody confess, the person who, who actually shot him with the shotgun said that they were not a part of it over and over and over confess thinking that they were going to be able to get off because of that and they don't because of our justice system because now we got to say that we did something wrong that we were wrong yeah so it's it's all back up to the image of the people not the the, the righteousness of what should be done mm. it's all on appearance of how the judge looks how the court looks, how the police look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It has nothing to do with with, with right right standings, with righteousness, with the law. Yeah. It's just the appearance on how they look. The appearance. So the life of an individual does not matter if it makes them look bad. Yeah. So they'll go through all means to be corrupt to try and make somebody who's not corrupt corrupt. Hmm. And then all those people, that's what I'm saying. And that what that what bigotry comes from, right? Bigotry is really I'm labeling you. Right? I'm whether you're white or black, I'm labeling you. And now yeah. that justifies what I do to you. You see what I'm saying? Whether it's religion or our justice system. All I need yeah. to do is demonize you. And now I'm just saying that like, what happened to what happened to the the Spanish Inquisition is my is one I like to use mostly. That what justified the hurt hurting somebody? Nothing. What justified? Nothing justifies it. There's nothing about the good news that says go out and kill all those who do not believe there is nothing that says that i'm telling people there's nothing that's the whole point is there's nothing we don't do that and that's what he's trying to tell her but that's what somebody translated that to show i'm going to demonize you some people think that well i ain't hate the person i'm just telling what they are but what what are you telling me what, what are you why are you telling me what do you want me to do about it you know what I mean? When we fought, when we fought one another, what is it that we asking the person who's listening? What are we asking them to do? Do Do you have an answer for that? What is it when you talk? You know what I'm saying? When you demonize somebody, what is it that you asking the person who's listening to do? Or what do you think that person is translating what you're telling them to do? Well, most of the time. That person is going to try and defend themselves, especially if if they're being victimized for for something that is uh, unwarranted. Mm -hmm. You know, um, to exist, there, there's no sin to exist. Yeah, but we tend to make it so. Yes. You know, this this the the mind of man, ungodly man, will make the existence of someone else a problem. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and then they want did, does that imply that they're trying to make them respond and give an answer to your complaint? And then we're gonna use an example. When when they when I was telling you about the Priya thing, you 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 heard the word Priya? It's, it's something about the discriminating people because of their uh, what is it, race, color, or sexual orientation, or something like that. But the bottom line is, if they hear a message, 
about a sin and then go beat up somebody because of it. What do you think the person was hearing when the person was giving the message? Right? What What do you think they were hearing? And why did they beat? Why would you Why would you beat up a a, a person because of the color? Why would you beat up a person because of their orientation? Why Why would you beat them up? What trigger out of a message that you gave? That's like the people who were who are Asian getting beat up. Yeah, that's another one. Because of the because of uh, coronavirus. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and 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 then when you look at it, and and from what I seen, and not saying that it was a good depiction. But that's a good uh, example you give him. You giving a good example. No, no, no. I'm talking about the people who were being attacked. Yeah. Seem to be women and older folks. Oh yeah, I saw people that. Easy, yeah. easy, soft targets. Yeah. You know, not someone who can retaliate. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It was always someone that was helpless, so to say. Mm -hmm. You know, an easy target for your because you're being given information that has nothing to do with these individuals. Yes, sir. You want to get vengeance, but you put it in the wrong place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. you, 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 as long as you can tie an individual to something that you have no agree, agreement with, Right. And the natural default of man is to have alt against that person, even to the point of attacking and trying to take that person's life. Right. And the question, what what trick you said it, but I'm trying where did that how where did it come from? From the message? Or from what? What where is it what drives that train to say I got I can hurt this person? What where's the justification? Is it what they're hearing that caused them to do that? Well, somebody who hears someone says that this is this these are the the ones who brought this in and it's their fault. Uh huh. It's it's in that person's members that individual has a choice to make. It's not the message. It's not the information. It's the choice of the actions that they choose to act out. It's that individual's issue. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm trying to say, because I'm going to equate that with the, the woman who called an act of adultery. How about you use that? I mean, that's, that's compared. She, okay, so you have a woman that was accused. There was, first of all, the root cause of that was to try and find alt against Christ. Yes, sir. To catch him in something. Okay? So that was the, the bottom line. But when you look at the whole scenario, they're going to find something that is just concrete within their life. Well, well let, me, let me interrupt for a second. That I got you on the fact is that those who scheme this planned this, plotted this, were in cahoot to try to trick Christ. Yeah. But you, you do recognize that the crowd, yeah, they were not part of that, right? You, you recognize that, right? That They were part of the planning of tempting in Christ. That, in that environment, I have to believe that if somebody was caught in a stone-worthy uh, uh, act against their law, then everybody wanted to be a part of that stone. Not everybody, but there was people who just would get involved in it for getting involved safe. Yeah. You know, uh, that, that is just a crowd mentality. You can be in a crowd of folks and because of the issues that are being warred against or, or, or protested against, 
can get the crowd in such a frenzy that they start throwing stuff. <laughs> what, what, right, just, right. just being in that frenzy, you'll pick up something and throw it. <laughs> well, wait, wait, you know wait. What I'm yeah, but break it, break back up. I'm with you. I'm back it up back to the story because these people didn't throw nothing yet, right? They, they, but they no. picked up a stone, right? So I'm saying most of them didn't know what the plot was, right? You, you, you agree that most of them, they weren't part yeah. of the only thing they were part of is I heard somebody violated the law. Yeah. And that we, the, the answer for that was to stone them to death. So these yeah. people were willing participants to, to get ready to stone somebody. Right? Yeah. And, and Christ did what he did to condemn every last one of them. Well, he didn't do it to condemn them. He showed them a principle that should be done to this day. To this day. Come on, bro. That it hey. is to examine yourself hey. before on. you examine others. That's the point. I'm trying to, to make see. sure that you're, the standard that you're meeting Come on now. is better than the standard that these people are. Yes, sir. Based not on you, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but on God, what God has to say. Right. So the same thing with the people that are attacked with the, the, the Asian and them people want to be, you know, those random attacks were that, per that person didn't examine themselves to before they attack that person. Right? Not at all. No. And on top of that, because they didn't even think about the fact is your government, look, because that, that I think really good down, that takes another level, right? Your government is no cleaner than that government. So what justify you to hit that, you know, attack that person? You don't well, have a reason. The fact that they attack them. Yeah. Is is, it's, it's, is is just so it's 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 so egregious. It's, you know, and then the fact that they would put their hands on somebody who did not have a specific hand yeah. in bringing that virus into this country, let alone into this world, right? Um, is is just. It, it, it says a lot about the individual. It the individual, does. the individual has issues beyond that. Yes, sir. Before that information came, yeah. if it wasn't that, it would be something else. Hey, come on now, you know they were paid to do it, and that goes right back to we were talking about people attacking somebody in prison just because they heard a message, right? That that said this is abomination to God. Yeah. And, and yet you in there for some reason, hopefully, hopefully you're not in there for some reason, because hopefully I'm, some of them in there because of just misjustice, which uh, some of them are in there for. But let's assume that the person Even was- more so not to put their hands on somebody else. Oh, bro, please talk. Yes, that's what we're trying to say. See, that's not, that's, that's not the default that men have. We, we're not, it, it takes, it takes a relationship with God, a relationship with God, not knowing God, not knowing that there's God, not knowing that there's a Jesus Christ and believing that there is, but a relationship brings you to the point of self-awareness before, so before you, you know, go at someone else. I like that. It's a self-examination. And that's all that Christ was pointing out. Yeah.